Hello viewers, today I'm replacing a hybrid battery. Now I am going to unpack the battery. This is the battery. I took it out from the box. So now we are going to put high voltage relay on this side and voltage sensor on this side and then we are going to put the covers back. So I am going to put the relay back onto the new battery. So 10 mil bolts that we removed before. We are using the same bolts back on this one. Put the plug back that came with the new battery. Now I'm going to put these two terminals back with 8 mil bolts. You have to slide it in. I'm going to put the cover back because this side is ready. So slide these two studs in first and put this, this here, going here. sensor back before putting the plug in i'm going to put the bolt in because on the new battery make sure this this leg on this one comes here on the top align the hole and now put the plug back now i'm going to put the side cover back so these are the wires we're gonna route them properly so this clip this first clip for the yellow wire black and brown wire gonna go just press it in put the plug back the second that holds two wires gonna go here and the third one gonna go here and now this is the temperature sensor gonna go into the second hole not first one second hole that's locked in so now I'm going to clean the fan and duct. Now I'm going to clean this one with a blower. Do not take the blower closer to the fins. You're going to break them uh, because it's going to move very fast. You're going to see the dust will come out of the fan. Okay, I'm going to spray some solvent. this we're gonna clean it uh, with the rag clean rag so this has been clean this look like it's brand new now now I'm going to clean the duct duct and the fan so I'm going to clip in the fan plug first and one two so i'm going to put the uh, nuts with the washers so i'm going to put the duct slide in this lock is in this lock is in and now i'm going to put the clip back as you see the battery is in so i'm going to put all the bolts back i'm not going to tie them until i engage them with my hand to make sure they are engaged properly
so I'm going to connect this clip back into its position and now the plug slide in and now I'm going to put the plugs back it's still safe because I haven't put the interlock switch back yet so this gonna go in here and this gonna go in here so I'm going to put this ground in line with this one now I'm going to put these three bolts back so I removed one yellow clip from here and from the back that I'm going to put at the end now this I'm going to slide it in see this clip gonna go here here and that's sitting properly and this clip gonna go This is all been done and now I'm going to clean the duct. I'm going to clean this and this filters as well. Lift up the seat belt. Put this one back. All three of the clips are smaller. They are small. If you put the big one in here, they're gonna touch the ground and it's not gonna lock. So I'm gonna put the small one here. See, it's locked. Now I'm going to put this one here and the third one gonna go here. I am going to put the high voltage interlock plug back this one this gonna go here so as I'm gonna go put this one in go and slide this one in now it's lock I'm going to put the 12 volt battery back into its position See this hook that is going to go here. You have to lift this seat belt up, press it back. That's in, and hole is in line. Going to put the bolt back. This is done, so I'm going to put the other side now. Now we're gonna put the seat back. Push the seat back and press it down and you will hear that's it. Now I'm going to start the car and see if there is any problem. Press the brake and press the button single time and the ready light should come on and all the lights will go away. So it's all good. The car is ready to go.